2019, the fourth annual 18th of April. Yes, he too. What? Fire! Oh, na na. Yeah, na na na, yes. Yeah. We are here in Heat 2. Okay, I'm the presenter and your host for this evening's event, and I go by the name MC50. I have one of the contestants to, to, who's going to be performing, and he goes by the name of Mr. Kingsley Summer. Mr. Brown, meet Mr. Kyle. Light it to Willem Bay in your style. And show your color and see your true style. Wipe out that smile when you walk the green mile. How does it feel to come from the auditions to qualify into the heat? What does it mean to you? Uh, it's quite a strange feeling to be honest. Um, I literally didn't think I'd uh, have a chance, but uh, yeah, I'm here and it feels really good. You won't see me driving in the You bounce and catch me walking in the foreign A shot in this game that you're not it made me feel ashamed. All this mountain milk is busting out my brain. Someone help a brother to stop breaking. What is it about reggae music what made you want to do this type of thing rather than other, other genres of music? Yeah. Well, I, I actually started off doing blues music. Um, I was sort of playing guitar and all this kind of stuff, but my dad is actually a reggae producer. Yeah? He got me into this. He's here tonight, actually, and he's going to judge me on everything. So, like, I'm not... I'm worried about the judges here, but it's my dad. He's going to be like, right... He's going to critique you. Yeah. <laughs> but he, so I listened to reggae my entire life, and then I went to a festival in... 2003 or something like that I watched Culture for the first time like first ever band I've ever seen and I was like yeah okay that's what I'm doing I'm lost and I can't find my way I'm in a truck of the streets of today so many predators of sweet for big and I can't seem to get away I'm lost and I can't find my way what does Britain got reggae mean to you well I have seen it grow over the years and I think it's amazing how uh, Serlene has kind of built it up, showing new artists, um, you know, giving a, a platform, a nice career pathway for people and also the prizes um, to play at some absolutely amazing festivals and you know, record in some nice places and that's like, a lot of people just won't get those opportunities and I, I think this is amazing because yeah, people just get a chance finally, so yeah, it's, reggae never gets noticed, so. Calling out your name. Yes, you will be a long call here. Yes, you got the blues, it's falling, falling down like a king's league. I absolutely loved your vocals. I loved your energy. I feel the love of reggae coming through your soul. I did enjoy that because when I come to these heats, I expect to hear reggae. I heard that in your performance, and, 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 and thank you. You did very well. Yeah, Britain's Got Reggae winner, Rafila, 2017 overall winner. Rafila, since yeah. becoming the overall champion empress, how, how has things changed for you in terms of career, music and other stuff? Um, well, they changed completely because even direction, the direction I was going in is different now and then more live, more live music. Um, so working with Rafili and the New Life Band, I've got a band that I've taken to Rototom since. How was Rototom to come oh, to think gosh. of this? Rototom was an absolute amazing experience. I'm so glad that it is part of the Britain's Got Reggae team, you know, to be able to prevent what's to present what's going on in the UK yeah. abroad like it's a great platform beautiful there was a massive crowd that time main stage lock off so we locked down lion stage yeah. and it's just a big thing to for Britain's got reggae to be able to have that you know that slot not, yeah I want to ask you this as well in terms of like since you know your overall champion 2017 winner what did your family say uh, what, what did your friends say when it went all across the world? It's been just, oh, it's been such a great, like, everybody's like, whoa, okay, wow, amazing. Like, yeah, yeah and I'm still able, like, because of the coverage and yeah. how many things, how many platforms Britain's Got Talent, uh, Britain's Got Reggae puts out there for um, for people. So off of all the platforms, people go, oh, my goodness, he's on YouTube, you're on YouTube. You can send them to the page and have them watch the competition. So it's... It's done a lot for me. Friends and family, a lot of support, you know, and watching you go from strength to strength, seeing the growth and then seeing, you know. I mean, I mean, we are live here at the Hoot and Nanny in Brixton, and I have one of the artists who's going to be in the competition this evening, and he goes by the name of Satan J Spirit. Minding the creation of the rock, 
I usually play by myself guitar, acoustic guitar, and now we've got a backing band with amazing musicians. They're going to play with us, and they've been uh, learning the songs, preparing for that. So uh, I'm kind of like, yeah, happy, and at the same time, like, um, yeah, looking forward to see what it does, like, on stage to be like with a full band. Just think about the world where life is built for life, and all that the mysteries, as creation and all destroy. How do you prepare yourself? For such a, a, you know, a big step such as this, you know, such a prestigious place such as this, how do you prepare yourself? Yeah, well, you have to just like uh, feel yourself first and be as you are, like, um, like singing and rehearsing as much as possible, trying to find the right harmonies with, to play with the musicians, sometimes simplify the songs. Feel the time, so sweet. Whatever happens, we're here for the love of music. Right. And, and I'm just going to share with um, the people what I have to say, what I have to sing. And, and if I go through, well, it's amazing. I, I will be able to spread more of the message. We, as the judge, have a, a list here where we have to judge by, which is Sam Chice, stage presence, vocal ability, audience interaction and appearance. So I'm, I'm not sure if all the contestants know that. See, because I love the high vocal, and I can say he's a very talented musician. But for a few of the other things that I see on this board, you find a kind of low score for me. The first song, I, I felt that we were not there. But by the second song, by the time you picked up your guitar, your confidence had come out, and I felt you were, you were now in your zone by then. It is not just vocals because it's the complete package and when you go out into the real world it's not just how you sound unless it's the voice at the beginning before they turn around. JB here and JB's been doing all the film work of City Link Up and also Britain's Got Reggae. JB, you've been doing this for since the last four or five years. JB, in terms what do you see what do you see behind the lens that we as members of the public don't see? Body language face expression, nervousness, confidence, and sometimes I see the harshness of the judges. I feel so sorry for some of these acts, you know, because they're really brave. And, you know, I really applaud them because it's not easy to come up on stage in front of so many people and perform, you know what I'm saying? And it's a drive. And a lot of them have this confidence that can bring them far. Some of them, as we see, wasn't for this platform, but there's a place for them out there in the music world. But on the whole, what I see behind that camera, is what we don't see. Yeah. <laughs> Venus has good evening, sister. Hello, good night. <laughs> what about sis? Everything good? Yeah, everything's cool, yeah. When you find out the boy love me, to man, the safety road. And don't stop the what this and not kids and you back it's tough and a road damage. Reload out with some messed up habits. Walk and I breathe here, get like a rabbit. Then sit down and lap tail and post life is solid. Is there anything that you changed from audition to now? Well, the thing is, um, audition was just a little snippet of who I am as an artist. Yeah. So I think tonight, people have a better idea of who I am going forward. Real man must say, me no want to get this. I know that ten some girl and the sis. Man will be man that they use as defense in with you, cause you not no sis. Who the man shake? I know the fear and it. Hope life don't be fantastic. Reggae, to me, it's, it's meant so much at, up to even just to this point. Yesterday for rehearsal, I got my first opportunity to actually rehearse, rehearse with a live band. I've yeah. never ever worked with a live band before. For me, that's like I've achieved one thing yes. that I've put as something that I've wanted to yeah. do. So for me, it's, for me, it spells achievement and just changes and get, doing things that you, you don't normally do like outside of the box. <laughs> The 
there's anything that you could change in the reggae music, what would it be? Wow, if there's anything I could change, well, for me, I would try to put the value back in it where it's not like people are just making music for the sake of it. You know, when the passion is in it, it, it lasts forever. When you woke up in a certain single man, be alone and don't stop. From him like Stanton and tell him now no plan, be alone and don't stop. And if him have you, you tell him now mine one be alone run, and don't stop. Lyrically, I like what you do because you put everything, the realness, in context, okay? Yeah, I think uh, the first thing I'll say is that you're a very good songwriter. Um, you write all your own songs, right? Yeah, really good songwriter, man. I think um, like those songs um, are definitely songs you, you could hear playing on radio today. As I said, being here as the overall winner of 2017, we've just had a few of the artists that we've just um, I've just interviewed. What was, what message would you send to them right now in terms of that they're going to do what you did two years ago? What I would say to every artist is look at what they can do. I say don't watch the competition. One, first and foremost, don't watch the competition. If there's something that you have inside of you, have the confidence and grow that and bring it to the stage. Um, that's the first thing. The second thing I would say is be just strategic in your competing. Be Hear strategic. That? Remember that? what Strategy Reggae enough. has to offer. So, you know, if it's if it's if you do ska and, and, and maybe you want to bring a ska feel, bring a ska feel. Don't be afraid. If you have to fuse it, fuse it, but bring what you got. You know, to the stage, bring it come, because Britain's Got Reggae wants to see it. Ladies and gentlemen, Hoot and Nanny, Britain's Got Reggae, to the stage, our live PA, the one they call Mr. Robert Dallas. Give it up, people. Ooh, oh, oh, pain and sorrow can take it no way. You know we are, but we know we go to sleep. Every man with a heart must be. The gospel of it is not the ideal. No way. So no make women is happy. Let it go. Let it go. They got the pain and sorrow. Take a look in at your moral. Father Grams in other place. Father Grams. Yes, brother. I mean, my love. Big up, big up. Every time, every I time, brother. Every time, every time, you know. Lord, I pray. I honor your name. Deliver your mercy. Whenever I fall, you lift me up. Glory to thee, oh God. Sometimes things happen when you expect, you know. You know, but me have to just give thanks to the Almighty God. You know, if me go through, because we are, you know, we have to work hard, you know. And we have to sing up my throat, well, you know. So, definitely. Sing from the soul, my oh, Lord. Oh, my God. My right, you know, me feel all tears in my eyes. Are you mean? We are going to make the come from the stage, you know, my Lord. Oh, Performance, you know, dance. Oh, God, brother, man. Me I tell you, say, yo, me have to sing from my heart and just do it properly because I would have loved to go to the next one. That would have been the greatest accomplishment in my career right now. I'll be triumph like the victory. Yeah, I'm protected by the most high. And me know him see every tears me cry. So why them get up and I planned it? I'm released as me a one life life. No, I shall not die. Britney got reggae you now. I really a showcase the talent because which part is we can go and do this brother sure. we have to respect and give the thanks and give the love yeah for them to have me here still Maybe get a youth have some sad story one day my mommy proud of me work hard for what you want if you don't plant peace then you can go trees millions in a bank now me not have beauties take back Jamaica from the Chinese oh, reggae is a part of my history you know I grew up listening to Bob Marley, Peter Touch, and Chronics, the newcomer, them, and you know, I just have a feeling for reggae. And when you say Britney got reggae, I reggae that. So as I hear it, I just jump on it. Can't make that train they left me, you know I mean? what I mean? Because I want to showcase my talent. Come self, we don't worry about that. Bang, boom, fat, roll up the jam tap. And I be a girl that's like your own dad. Britney got reggae ever happened. Big up, Father Grounds, man. Big up, big up. 
Um, yeah, I feel like the main thing that stood out to me, one of the main things was like your stage presence. Um, you have really good stage presence. Um, and I like your use of the stage as well. Thank you. Now we're gonna get down to it. You see, we're at the beginning, you see the first impression for me? It counts. Because you decided to stay behind and, 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 and make your entrance. It's only then it's blown and buried some and them people that I would really accept that. Because the first note you come out with, you floored me. Okay, it was flat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're gonna make an impression like that, come on with something. Practice the singing part. The one that got on me, on boy! Festima, she said she mommy pizza. I feel like you have a really good stage presence. Um, I feel like you have really good DJ ability and lyrical ability as well. Um, and you definitely come dressed for the stage, you know what I mean? Like your appearance. Bonfilo, 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 bonfilo. Anytime you me looking at your eyes. Well, on there. Get your up in the car. Bands, I'm not ready for you yet. I'm not too hype, like. As I come out and I see me on one hype, and I want to talk to the ladies. See? I'm not the hype yet. Well, uh, baby girl, you may have said. It's a hard one because I, you almost don't want to like him. You had an arrogance about you, but you came with your arrogance, you had a performance. So, as much as you may think, oh, I don't like him, but actually, you're going, oh, I like, well, I like what you're doing on the stage because you're good. You, you command the stage, you're good. I like how you deliver your stuff. She a phone, she's calling. Say your boyfriend, he's not been falling. She a phone, say she's fed up. Your anger, they cause him to get up. She a caller, give me pass. So me give her me boom boom blast. It's in this little reggae arena here now. Don't upset the band. They come here to play a reggae. Yeah, and that's what they were doing. And it's like, you're trying to stop them. You know? So don't upset them. Seriously, you don't need them. The whole of the eye performance is very good. But don't pull the wool over a few eyes as judge. Right? There's no way you and the band put that together to act like that. See? One thing, a artist must respect the band, and the band must respect the artist. Any problem, you don't turn around and make the band feel away because somebody will just walk off stage and leave you. Know? And then just like how oh, you leave them and say you are going to do a cappella. Because that is also a disrespect. You are telling everybody that the band can't deal with you. So ladies and gentlemen, 2019 Heat 2 of Britain's Got Reggae. In reverse order. In fifth place, we have Sotonjay Sochon, Spirit. Yeah. In fourth, a yeah, round of applause please, yes. And in fourth place, a couple of stage partner bands. Move down, let's move down if it makes some space yes. for us. There we That's go. Right. Yeah. And I said in reverse order. In fourth place, we have Father Grants. In third place, we have Oh Me, Oh My. Okay. In second place is, is Kingsley Solomon. So what does that mean, Fibo? So that means the overall winner of Heat 2 2019 Britain's Got Reggae, we have Felicious! This moment in time, Judith, or Pierre, or Ben, is there anyone you'd like to save here as a wild card? But bearing in mind the wild card that you decide to take, you choose, that is your wild card throughout the whole period of Britain's Got Reggae. Because my, my, the person who I wanted is through. Yes. But as much as I, I just feel that this person should be in, I know people will hate me for this. I, I, yes, I just think that this guy is a performer and should be through regardless of what I said. 
and only a man should be in. Is that your wild card? That's the, my wild card. That's your wild card. So, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Judith Jacobs has used her wild card to keep oh me, oh my, who'll be following through, going into the heat. Oh, nah, nah.